Breaking news tonight, the Richmond School Board has released the third party report investigating that deadly Huguenot graduation shooting last year. The judge ruled in favor of the two media outlets who were suing the school board. And now let's break down this incident. On June 6th, following Huguenot's graduation ceremony, suspected shooter Amari Pollard allegedly opened fire. Senior Sean Jackson and his stepfather Lorenzo Smith were both killed that day. The latest update is showing Pollard is only being charged with one of those deaths. In July, RPS launched an internal investigation creating its own action plan, but some board members weren't satisfied with the findings. So that's when the Sands Anderson group began its investigation in October. 8 News reporter Autumn Childress is live in downtown Richmond to break down this lengthy report. And Autumn, what have you learned? Well, Eric Deanna, Richmond schools had until 1 o'clock this afternoon to release this 29 page report that some school board members called disturbing. Inside this report, a detailed review of the missteps that led up to the shooting deaths of Sean Jackson and his stepfather, Renzo Smith. Tonight, the legal battle over the release of this third party investigation report coming to an end. 29 pages outlining the communication and security concerns leading up to the shooting deaths of Huguenot High School graduate Sean Jackson and his stepfather Renzo Smith just moments after graduation ended. The accused gunman, Amari Pollard, who police and family confirmed was known to Jackson. The report, including dozens of documents and interviews with Richmond school leaders and staff about the safety of Sean Jackson. It also raises questions on why those safety concerns were not taken into consideration the day of graduation. Documents revealing that Jackson's mother, Tamika Jackson Smith, had repeatedly relayed the safety threat to Huguenot leaders. One email saying the family was in hiding after an incident with one of Jackson's friends. Another email saying the family's house had been shot up. His mother also questioning why Jackson was allowed to be in the same classroom with the student that, quote, literally tried to kill him. The report revealing those repeated safety threats were never relayed to security personnel in Richmond schools. Tonight, the report also highlighting inconsistencies with the district's homebound program in which Jackson was a part of learning from home. 8 News previously obtained the handbook stating that homebound students were prohibited from participating in school activities like a graduation unless authorized by a principal. The report revealing that authorization never happened from then principal Robert Gilstrap. And in the days leading up to graduation, more documents showing concerns from Jackson's mother asking if her son's participation in graduation practice was too dangerous. The counselor at the time responded that they would, quote, squeeze him in. The report showing Jackson showed up to graduation late. His name was called out of order. Video shows him walking across the stage. And moments later, those gunshots rang out. I welcome the release of the report and we'll have a full statement when it's released at one o'clock. Do you know what that statement is going to say? Uh, you know, I'd rather not comment. Okay, please respect that. I'd, I'd rather not comment until after the statement is released. Tonight, Superintendent Jason Cameras and School Board Chair Stephanie Rizzi refusing in-person comment early Wednesday morning. Instead, pointing to this statement, reading in part, quote, our shared commitment is to learn from this tragedy and continue to improve in order to further safeguard our students and staff. It goes on to say the district has already updated safety policies and protocols and invested millions in new security infrastructure. Now, it's important to note here that this report did not go into the criminal part of this investigation. It rather focused on school operations, but it did detail a day of security at the Altria Theater. Some school board members saying they did not go through metal detectors or get screened. If you'd like to read the full report, you can head to our website right now. That's WRIC.com. Live in Richmond tonight, I'm Autumn Childress, 8 News. Thanks, Autumn, and our 8 News Digital team is hard at work sifting through more than 1,000 additional pages of evidence, so scan the QR code you see on your screen now for the latest details.